Welcome back. Let's start with the question of the day. It says, I'm a wig wearer that started out using a ball cap, but now I just use a wig cap. Can you tell me the purpose of the ball cap? I just don't get it. So if you are using a ball cap, it's because you want that scalp appearance underneath your wig. It's supposed to give a bald look, um, just like if you didn't have any hair, which gives a more realistic scalp look to your wig. So that's why a lot of people like to wear it. Um, today's video will go into detail on how I do mine a little bit. But if you have any more questions, you all feel free to leave them below. I will either answer them in a video or directly. And I appreciate you guys' feedbacks and questions. The wig in today's video comes from Pretty Lux Hair. It will be linked in the description box. Today's wig install is a full lace. We'll get into that in a second. So I actually wanted to share with you all this premium quality HD wig cap that comes from Wig Dealer. This cap is actually an HD cap. If you are familiar with the ball cap method, you know that normally you would use a wig cap, which is a bit thicker. This one is thinner. And unlike the last one I used in my previous video, this one is really different. You can feel the thinness. And of course, as you guys see the video, you'll see how I install. Today's install, I will be using the Kiss Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. This is the 10 times hold. I did a full review on this if you wanna check it out. I'm going to go ahead and apply that ball cap over top and then use that spray and then once it's dry i'm going to get rid of the extra cap as you can see it is very thin now i recently did a updated ball cap method very detailed video if you want to see more details on how i do that you can check out that previous video all right so this is what this wig looked like it does not come in this color i colored this wig to look like this it does come in a natural black um so whatever you see on the website is what it's going to look like this is a full lace wig as you can see it has combs adjustable straps so if you don't want to wear it with glue you have the option to wear this cap glueless i have already bleached the knots in the front as you can also see so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this extra cap around the back full lace wig is very versatile you should be able to pull it up into a high ponytail however with my cap it's bigger than what it needs to be so i will not be pulling it up but if you wanted to you absolutely could all right so let's start off by pushing this hairline back and i'm using my wax stick this is the she is bomb wax stick i use this to help the hairline just look nice and put together and neat um, and then i'm going to make sure that the tab areas are fitting around the ear properly now these small scissors that I'm using do come from Wig Dealer. I will put their link in the description box if you guys want them. They are actually really good compared to the bigger ones. They get the job done very well. I'm going to place markings in front of the lace where I want to put my adhesive spray because I want to make sure it's in the right area. And I'm just going to smooth that adhesive spray all over that area. And I am going over this twice. So I put two layers of the Kiss Lace Spawn Spray. Once that is tacky, I'm going to take the lace and press it down over top of the adhesive. And I'm using a little spatula to do this. This is actually really good because it presses that lace where I need it to lay. Sometimes the edge, the very far edge can be lifted. So this actually helps to lay it down. All the products that I use and tools will be in my Amazon storefront link that is in the description box below this video. All right, next I'm gonna tie down the hairline for at least 15 minutes. Now, if you don't know, I put all of my makeup looks at the end of the video, so this, okay. <laughs> at the end of this video, you can find the tutorial on how I created this makeup. So I'm just going to adjust the strap in the back and go ahead and tighten it. I did not tighten it prior to gluing it down because I wanted to see if me tightening and then loosening it later is causing the lace to ripple. So I wanted to install the wig this time without the adjustable strap in the back tighten. 
Um, and I think they actually worked out pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and set my parting. This hair is absolutely gorgeous. The hairline looks so good. And this spray is everything. When I tell you I have not touched <laughs> my even sprays, this kiss spray is amazing. So I'm just pushing back the hairline. And as you can see, it's very clean. There's no like hair stuck. There's no white residue. Sometimes if you see a red line around my hairline, it's because I use that sleigh band to, you know, sit on that hairline. So I'm light skin is gonna be like that. I get redness from anything. So I'm gonna just take my dryer and blow out the hair, get it nice and straight. It, it gives really good texture when you use a dryer like this. And it's so much better than a flat iron. I don't know when the last time I used a flat iron on any of my wigs. Um, this dryer is everything. I love how it gives texture and it just smooths the hair really good. All right, so this is what everything looked like. Again, stay tuned if you wanna see how I created the makeup for today's look. So I did wanna give you all a quick style. I'm gonna grab some of these teeny rubber bands. And I like these because they do not um, get stuck in the hair. But this is what the parting is like on a full lace wig. You can part it anywhere you want. You can even do a parting all the way down the back if you choose to. Like I said, I'm not styling the back today just because the cap is a bit bigger so if you get a full lace wig you want to make sure the cap is fitted to your head size keeping it simple i'm gonna add two ponytails at the top and i love the way this style turned out it is so so pretty um and like i said the parting i did bleach the knot so as you can see it looks like scalp again this wig will be linked below in the description box be sure to check down there i will also put a discount code for you all so yeah, as you can see, this turned out really pretty. This wig is so gorgeous. It is 100% human hair, of course. And as you see, I did color it so it can take color very well and it still looks good as far as the quality. I'm just gonna take a strand of hair on each of um, these ponytails and just wrap it around that band so that it won't show. But yeah, you guys definitely drop me some comments and let me know what you think about today's wig install. I absolutely love how natural it looked. Um, I did not add baby hairs to today's look because I just wanted you all to see what this hairline is like um, and it's so gorgeous but probably later on I will <laughs> but yeah this is the finished look remember to stay tuned if you want to see how I created my makeup All right, so if you're looking for your game day look, if you are going to the Super Bowl or if you are even just watching it from home, today's look is very simple. I'm gonna start out with my brows and I'm just using this ColourPop brown liner. Um, and then I'm going to just go over them with the concealer to make sure they are nice and clean. Um, today's look I wanted to keep very simple but very glamorous at the same time so it's not going to be like a complicated look so today i had to pull out my fancy beauty this is the blurring skin tint in honor of rihanna performing at the super bowl today i'm super excited to watch so i have not used this in a while and this is actually just a blurring skin tint in the color i believe this is the color 12 and i use my brush to apply it i wanted to wear something if i'm going to be you know just enjoying a day at the house i want to look good but i don't want my foundation to feel like foundation so this is great for that it feels good on the skin i didn't want anything that would look overly done if that makes sense then i'm going to take my beauty blender and just make sure everything is blended all right, a little throwback who remembers when rihanna collection was in mac look i still have my collection from it of course i'm not going to use this because it's super old but it shows how far rihanna has came over the years and i just remember this being the thing back in the day all right so let's jump into the eyeshadow i'm taking my morphe palette and this is the palette i will be using for today's look i'm just applying a brown in the crease and then i'm going into the morphe palette with this darker brown right at the outer lid and that's going to give like a slightly smoke look to this eyeshadow 
and then I'm going to take a blending brush and blend those colors together making sure there's no harsh lines for today's lid I'm using this pale yellow over top of the lid I'm applying this color first and then I'm going to go in uh, with that shimmer right over top and it's so pretty now I pressed this I didn't use anything like wetting my brush I didn't do any of that but you can but this is so pretty on the lid and then I'm taking in the inner corners this shimmer whites just to make the inner corners pop a bit now I did my under eye concealer and I set my face with the translucent powder and also just some regular foundation powder I'm going around to add color back. I went into detail in my last um, makeup tutorial so I didn't go too much into detail now. For the lower lash line I'm adding a brown liner and then I'm going to go over that with a brown eyeshadow and just smoke it out a bit. For my lips I am going to also use a brown liner I absolutely lo love the way this look turned out. It's so pretty. Um, I will be sure to link some of these products on my Amazon storefronts and I will probably post this look over on TikTok. This gloss is in the color Madeline. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you back in my next video. Mwah.